This one is actually inspired by the Tom Ford. <gasps> we got packages. So, first off, there's our packages. Wow, this look, this look like a Christmas gift. Okay, looking pretty good. It's buttoned down and I like tied it. And then I just have on like my little boots right here. How often do y'all get oil changes on y'all car? And do y'all husband take y'all car to get oil changes? Um, light enough. I mean, you know, cause that my my house is dark. We gonna see what this salmon do, y'all, cause I'm nervous. another vlog so if you're new here hi my name is Imani if you like any of my content don't forget to subscribe before you leave out and if you're returning then hey y'all welcome back to the channel in today's video we have a few things going on I have a few package openings um, that I want to show you guys and then I think I'm just gonna run a few errands today might cook later on and yeah we're just gonna just kind of just go with the flow today so the first thing I want to do is actually show you guys what I ended up getting this morning though. So I did end up partnering with a uh, company called Dossier and they end up sending me um, some of their perfumes over to uh, test it out. So I'm super excited to test these out today. Dossier is a cruelty free, clean, vegan fragrance brand that specializes in very high quality clean fragrances inspired by fragrances that we all know and love but at a fraction of the price so i was sent over two different kinds that we are going to test out today so this is how the packaging looks right here and when you open the package this is how the packaging looks and it says iconic scents designer quality no markups so this is the Ambery Saffron. So it comes with this card right here. It is inspired by Baccarat Rogue 540. Top notes of Saffron, Orange Blossom, Middle Notes, Jasmine Plum. So I am super excited to try this, guys. I've never smelled the original kind, but I'm excited to see what this smells like because obviously this is going to be like closer to it. So... First off, this is how the packaging looks. Comes in a very chic bottle. Also has a magnet top. So I thought that was really nice. So like if you put it inside your purse, you won't ever lose it because it'll never come off because it's magnet. So I thought that was a really nice touch. And this is the Ambry Saffron. And it smells really good. Mmm. So this is the and it's 18% concentration y'all this smells really good I love this it smells really good it says thank you our mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price giving you the freedom to explore new scent thank you for giving us a try so the ambery saffron smells really good um this might be my fave y'all i ain't gonna lie like this smells really good again it is inspired by the baccarat roach 540 so that's the first one that i got the second one that i got is right here this one is actually inspired by the tom ford perfume florential coconut and this is how it looks okay 
This smells really good, y'all. I definitely highly recommend this kind. Again, I've never smelled the regular Tom Ford, but this smells expensive at a fraction of the price. The cost for the Tom Ford, I believe, was $39. And then the cost for the Baccarat was $49. But I do have a coupon code to give you guys if you guys do decide to purchase a perfume which again you are getting luxury perfume and it is very high end but i could tell it'll last a long time i definitely highly recommend the florental coconut and the amber saffron as well thank you darcier for sending me these perfumes over to test out i will have a coupon code below if you guys would like to purchase what's up y'all see a girl is back on the cami cam it has been a couple of hours now y'all and i've just been Doing a little stuff around the house, but y'all, we got packages. <gasps> we got packages. So, first off, there's our packages. And I wanted to um open up one with y'all. Which one we gonna do? Which one we gonna do? So, I'm still waiting on something else for that. But, baby, I'm excited. But, y'all, I want to open this up right here. So, I believe this is a little fryer and i've been needing a new one so yeah i want to go ahead and open this up and see how it's looking and yeah let's go ahead and open this up there she is guys she is a beaut so the brand is teltronic it actually comes with 13 quart air fryer oven accessories so this is actually really nice so it comes with these accessories and like i said the brand is teltronics it says the superior air fryer oven for family dinners. Uh, it looks like it has 50 recipes in a cookbook. It looks like you can do seafood, chicken, steak, desserts, fries, vegetables. Yeah, I'm hungry. So we're gonna put this to the test, y'all. So a little bit about uh, Teltronics is, it is a flagship brand under the Sun Valley Group. Their smart products aim to truly benefit customers' daily lives, offering them an experience they can't get anywhere else. They strive to develop, innovate, and focus on utilizing the latest technology into easy to use devices. They are also establishing a strong presence in seven countries, including the USA and UK, Japan, and Germany. They have also sold over 10 million products worldwide. The website actually has, I mean, all kinds of stuff, honestly. They got smart devices, stuff like that. So yeah, guys, um, home appliances, kitchen, winter goods, audio, advanced filters. So yeah, it looks like Teltronics is a website where you can pretty much get everything for all of your needs. This is my old air fryer and I want to say I got this one from Amazon. As you can see, the handle is broke and everything else. It's just two different products right there. So I really, really been in an air fryer. So shout out to Teltronics for gifting me this air fryer because I really needed this inside of my kitchen to cook all my family meals for my family and etc. It says nine cooking present function, 13 quart rotisserie air fryer oven. Wow. 50 recipe cookbook. Then it says 85% less fat than a deep fryer. Wow. So it comes with this packaging right here. And it just looks like an envelope that just probably has all of their information. Yeah. So also it looked like it has the air fryer oven information. And then it also has... The recipe book nice now let's get into some things honey let's get into this totronics air fryer baby so this is oh oh my oh, wow wow this look this look like a christmas gift this is what gets me happy okay give me something good i can cook in and that's effective and that's less of a mess girl let me tell you we just plugged her up she looks so good very chic i love the blue y'all know i love the black <laughs> that ain't even no secret this is a black sleek oven it looks really good as you can see this is beeping so it is very much so touch screen is what i'm looking at so again the brand is teltronics but when you push it it comes on and it goes automatically to 400. This is nice. 
Okay, so it has, okay, so this is how it comes out. So let's see. Okay. So stickers on, oh. Oh, I was not expecting that. So it actually opens up like a, okay, so. Okay, so this is how the inside looks, y'all. And what's in here? Oh, is this for the rotation chicken? Okay. Okay, so it looks like this is for the chicken, I believe. So this is how this looks. Really nice. So is this whenever you want to put chicken in here? Because it has, um, this opens up like this. I just have to figure out how to actually put it inside of there. This is how the inside looks really nice. Wow. And it closed like a microwave, which I'm here for. It's way more secure. You know, it doesn't have the little um, thing where you got to grab it out and stuff like that. So I like this a lot more than the one I got now. This is really nice. So let's see what all settings it has. Okay. So it has all this. Oh, it says DIY. DIY? Wait a minute. So it says DIY fry steak. Pizza look like. Fish. Rotisserie chicken. Is that fruit and vegetables? Bread. And these. Okay, so. What? This is crazy. This is a light. Okay, so that's for the light. Then, then this is for. I don't know yet. And then is this for the temperature? That's for the temperature. This is for the time. That's for the power. And this is to start it. This has to be the start. So yeah. Yeah, because it looked like if it's not being played with, then it cuts off. It's gonna cut off on its own watch. So this looked like a little plate thing. Here's another one. Oh, wow. they got some. They got all kind of. They got all kind of. Is this a piece of. Hold on. And then they got this. Which looks like a piece of thing or something. Ain't that what it looks like to y'all? And then they got this rack right here, which is giving me oven vibes. This is really nice. So they got this little rack right here, which is really nice. I like this. I want to demonstrate this to y'all. So let me cut the light on. Okay. So it looks like the eco is on too. So this one for the pizza. And this is the pizza that I'm going to try out from Trader Joe's. It is the Barretta Posetto. Try the drills, we have some different kind of food, y'all. Mm, it smell good though. Got the little green stuff on it. And then this is the little meat stuff. It says pork sea salt. What? Hopefully this is not nasty. Now, it smells... It smells, Trader Joe's is different, y'all. I don't even know how to put this down. And this is a different kind of pizza right here. Um, I have not tried this kind. But every time I go to Trader Joe's, I like to try something different. Because with all the different stuff that they got in there, who want to try the same stuff all the time? You know what I'm saying? So I try to try something different every time I go to Trader Joe's. Because they got so many different foods, y'all. It's crazy. But we're going to try this pizza out in this oven. And this will be the first thing that I try in my new air fryer. So, we're going to cut it on. Okay, so we're going to do... So, it looked like the temperature changed with whatever you put on here. Okay. And then the time is going to be... Uh, I guess 10 minutes because it's already on there. So, let's see. Cut the light on. So yeah, this is what's going on right now. So I'm gonna let y'all know how it going. Okay, so y'all, let's take her out. Let me get the light on. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and take her out. So again, I end up putting it on the top shelf. Okay, looking pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and put her over here. Okay. So yeah, this is how she turned and it's looking pretty scrumptious, I gotta say. What do you guys think? Mm. So let me see how I look at the bottom. Okay, bottom looking, okay. All right, so this is the top shelf, okay? So this is how it looks when you cook a pizza on the mesh shelf, okay? With the Tautronics, so yeah. All right, so let me go ahead and get this because it's beeping. So, obviously, until it's turned off, it's going to keep beeping. Okay, so let me close this. Cut that off here. And then I'm going to just take a little salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper. And yeah, we're going to cut her and see what it's hitting like because it's looking good. Ooh, crispy. Okay, it's giving crispy vibes. Oh, y'all see that crust? Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so I'm gonna cut her in like four. Just to make it look like the restaurant. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cut her in four. So that's four. All right, so we cut her in fours. So now we're going to do a face test real quick. So y'all, we now in the living room and I actually like being in my living room a little bit, y'all. Now man, y'all, I don't never really been here. I actually like the little vibe. This is the pizza. We're gonna taste test this real quick. And shout out to Teltronics for gifting me this air fryer. Um, and I will have a coupon code below in the description box if you guys would like to try it out. So let's go ahead and try this. Mm. Okay, I would recommend the air fryer. The pizza is good, crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. Now, mm. Mm -hmm. so guys, that is going to conclude today's portion of the video. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. The time right now is 8.21. And I just got finished posting my nighttime routine. So if you guys have not checked out that video, make sure you go check out that nighttime routine. It is very relaxing and the vibes are there. Okay. Good night. and welcome back to a new day so i just got finished getting dressed because i need to get out of this house y'all i just <laughs> i've been so busy with working but this is what i'm wearing today i said i wanted to get cute today because i just i didn't really want to wear nothing really chill today so this is what i am wearing i just have on like these like mom jeans and i just made like these little slits in it with a um little white button down and i like tied it and then I just have on like my little boots right here. Just like cute, but you know, like a little chill. And then we got like the curly hair and stuff like that. So for the bag, I think I want to wear this bag right here. Real classic bag. I think I got this from the Goodwill um, a little while ago. But 
it is a um laura scott bag it's really good quality too as well and then the perfume that i'm wearing and i was gonna wear this belt but i don't even think i want to wear this belt but the perfume that i did wear today is a uh, amory saffron it's a perfume that i'm wearing today so this is what i have on and then i just had like my watch on and then like my little necklace and i think i put on a ring but so far this is what i'm wearing so let me go ahead and put i think i'll go ahead and put a little ring on real quick And this is how the purse look with it. It's cute. So, this is how the purse look. And yeah, I pretty much just want to wear this and be like out. So, hey okay, y'all. So, we are in the car now. And I was looking at my oil change thing because I thought, I thought I had needed an oil change. And I'm like, hold on. What, did I miss the date? There's no way. It says or 139. Okay. do y'all get oil changes on your car and do y'all husband take your car to get oil changes or like are you the kind of girl that just take yourself and get your own oil change so y'all the first thing we got to do is go to walmart
car y'all literally i went into that walmart and got distracted i don't even know what time i even went in there but yeah it's still some stores i want to go into gosh but i just got some stuff for the kitchen decorating and stuff like that i want to cook tonight i want to cook that salmon tonight but I, but y'all i don't know if it's gonna be um light enough i mean you know because that my my house is dark i don't know if y'all know that or not but my house is dark let, let me get out this this sun is a killer so my house is naturally dark do i like it no um but i do i would like to have better lighting in a house oh it's hot but I do feel like my Walmart run today was very successful. And I'm going to tell you why. I got the plastic that I wanted to go over the windows. Because I know that breeze be coming through at night. And I be freezing. And then. Um, I got some SD cards. So SD cards check. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. Give it up. Anywhere you say. Anywhere you say.
y'all i'm just now coming out of kroger's y'all and i am starving i'm real tempted to buy some food but i'm like <laughs> i might as well just wait till i get home to eat and just go ahead and cook oh my goodness so i just end up grabbing like a little donut real quick y'all i am starving mm. I know it's not the healthiest, y'all. Don't judge me, please. But I am so hungry. I'm a girl. I don't prep this food. Like literally, I look up. It's it's now 23 at night, and I'm about to cook a whole meal. So this is my salmon, which don't pay attention to this because it looks. I know it looks weird, but that's because I had to put butter and everything on my salmon because maybe um, butter make it taste better. And uh, yeah, I had to have butter. Now, what I wanted to do was I wanted to try. I wanted to try to put. Some inside of this little fryer over here because I thought that was interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and use the cooking tray to actually make the salmon. So we got it in there, okay? So it says to put it on. Let's see. And then the other one, y'all, I'm going to cook it on in a skillet. But I want to see how. Okay, so let me see. Let me turn this on real quick. So it got fish. So let me see what it say. Fish 350. So y'all, for my sets, I was thinking about doing either some um, roasted Idaho potatoes. I love these. Or some jasmine rice. I got two options because I didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I'm thinking about green beans for the vegetable. So y'all, I ended up finding this sauce. Now imagine y'all, remember I said I was looking for like a sauce to go with like the salmon? Something like a glazed sauce that I had got when I went to Cheddar's and I love that sauce. I ended up finding this sauce. It's a marinade and grilling. It says Paradise Pineapple Teriyaki by Kona Coast. So y'all, I found this sauce right here. And let me know, have you guys used this sauce before? Because this is the sauce I'm gonna try and it actually tastes pretty good. So I like the way it tastes, I like the way it smells. So I'm gonna try this on my salmon. We gonna see what this salmon do y'all, cause I'm nervous. Now I ain't never put salmon in my air fryer or it's my first time doing this too. Okay, so like at first I was gonna fry some salmon. I was like, okay, I said, I'm gonna put some in a little thing. And then I was like, I'm gonna fry some too. I was like, why not just try them here?
Now we're gonna see how it turned out, okay? Moment of truth, I'm nervous too. Mm. Okay, so let's see how this turned. Okay, so this is how it looks. It looks good, it looks good. So you got a couple little crispy edges on it. Okay, that's how the side looks. All right, and then I got my other salmon frying, so we're gonna do a taste test on this, but. So while that's cooking, y'all, I wanna go ahead and start to do my green beans. Now, I do do my green beans in a bowl. I can't even remember last time I put them on the stove. I just um, basically put them in a bowl and I put like some, um, I put some uh, napkins over it and then I put a little water on a napkin and I put it in the microwave for five minutes. Y'all, that stuff be good. It be good. And that's pretty much all I do for my green beans. I don't put, I don't put too much salt into them green beans. Everything I got hit today, that salmon looking real good though. So yeah, y'all, all I pretty much do is I get a bowl and I basically take my green beans and I don't know who else would like this. It could just be me. It could just be me, but I just basically just get a bowl, take my green beans, take my green beans, y'all. Oh, my real nails are too long. Gosh, and I just put them in there like this. Okay, and then I put that butter in there, that salt and that pepper. So I put a little salt and pepper, a little pepper. And then I like to also put the, um, the little mixed onions in there that you can buy. I like to put those in there too. Let me see if I got some of those. I don't think I got none though. It's been a while since I even bought them, but I don't even like my vegetables over two seasons. I like my vegetables to be as fresh as possible. But yeah, I don't see any of my um, little mice onions. But yeah, I just basically just do like a little salt, pepper, butter, call it a day, put it in the microwave. And, um, and like I said, you can either put something over it or you don't have to, it really don't matter. Here we got this salmon over here. Okay, salmon, let's go. Okay. Look at that salmon. Woo -wee. Excited. We got two different salmons, y'all. Two different salmon. Okay. Now, we're gonna taste test both of them. I'm gonna go ahead and put these green beans in the oven. Put them on five minutes. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the jasmine rice as well. We're just going to microwave for 90 seconds. It's the fried salmon. And then this is the air fried salmon. Okay. So let's see here. So we're gonna go ahead and taste this one first. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and taste test this one. Okay. Mm, it's falling apart. 
You don't see that? See that smoke coming off of there? Serious. Let's taste this one. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Alright. So this is the thing. I believe both of them taste good. And both did cook, you know, really good. But if I had to choose one, I'm going to have to go with the fried salmon. So yeah, this is the finished product. Let me know what you guys think. Does it look delicious or no? So we got the fried salmon. Definitely put lemon juice in there too. Green beans. And then we got the jasmine rice. I did pour a little um, balsamic vinegar on it. And then this is the sauce that I'm going to try on the... Um, salmon so i want to try it and see how it tastes so let me see i have to go ahead and taste this sauce like i said comment below if you guys ever had it before but i want to taste it and see how it tastes on my salmon i feel like it's gonna be good but we'll see hold on i'm gonna try like a little bit i'm gonna try like a little bit on there okay so i got a little bit on there so let's go ahead and taste it Let me taste one more bite. That was just the first one. Let me taste the second one. Mm-hmm. Mm. The sauce is good. I definitely got that teriyaki in there. Heavy. So like you could taste the sweetness in there. Mm. This will also go good on some chicken. I'm going to have to fry some chicken with this. So, I'm going to probably catch y'all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.